Oh man. <laughs> Every time that I hit check, I get a little nervous. Hola, como estas? Espero que estes muy bien. Hello, I hope you're doing well. Uh, today, I'm gonna be taking Duolingo's hardest Spanish test. Now, I recently uploaded a video where I took Duolingo's placement test, so basically they can see what your level is and then start you off at a certain point in their curriculum. But I found that a lot of the questions were actually pretty easy, and a lot of you left comments saying the same. So we're going to Duolingo's final Spanish exam to see how I do, see if I can ace it. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already. All right, let's do it. Alrighty, so we're here inside Duolingo in their Spanish curriculum. Uh, there's a lot of lessons here. I already did a lot of them uh, when I was in high school, just kind of like supplemental material to what I was learning in class, but let me scroll to the bottom. Okay, checkpoint 10, so yeah, I haven't done some of these. Okay, ah, checkpoint 10, I've heard this is hard, so I'm a little nervous, but we'll see. <clears throat> That's amazing, that's so cool, okay. Victoria Triunfo. Okay, cool. Normalmente means normally, and simpatico means nice or kind. Triunfo. You could also say la Victoria. Aunque me dan sed, me encantan las papas fritas. Okay, so although french fries make me thirsty, I love. Oh, okay. Oh. Although. Okay, so I have to say, although they make me thirsty, I love french fries. Oh yeah. All right. If you want to stop by the store, you should hurry. Si sí. quieres pasar por la tienda, debes darte prisa. All right, nice. Okay, nice. Okay, so I mean, this is clearly much harder um, than the, the previous test I took. Um, so I, I need to go a lot slower here and focus. Um, okay, so I called you. So that you would help me plan the date. I called you so that you would help me plan a date. That works pretty good. Nice. All right, doing good. Al contrario, estoy a favor de preservar los bosques. Estoy a favor de preservar los bosques. Nice. Okay. So far, so good. Um, yeah. Now let's let's keep going. Okay, why do you take the subway if you can afford a taxi? ¿Por qué tomas el metro si puedes pagar un taxi? Why do you take the subway if you can afford a taxi? Alright, that looks pretty good. Awesome. Nice. Alright. Continuing. Oh man, did they punish you many times for being naughty? Okay. Ah. Uh, Usted lo castigaron muchas veces por ser travieso. All right, nice. <laughs> All right. ¿Por qué no le propones matrimonio en el lago? Okay, that's pretty easy. Why don't you propose to her at the lake? Nice. Okay. All right. <laughs> Okay, the sí. niño, Niña. Yo, yo tenía, tenía un perro que, que era muy obediente. obediente. So the child had dogs really obedient. The niño, yo tenía un perro que era muy obediente. Looks good. All right, nice. Me da rabia que gaste todos sus ahorros en zapatos. Okay, so it infuriates me that he he spends all his savings on shoes. Me da rabia que gaste todos sus ahorros, ahorros en zapatos. It infuriates me that he spends all his savings on shoes. Nice. All right, that was a that was a, a full one. Uh, here, the you're you're seeing the subjunctive mood. So when you see that that word gaste, 
That is in the present tense, but it's the subjunctive mood. Why? Because she's saying it infuriates me. Uh, the subjunctive mood can be quite confusing for a lot of us when we're learning Spanish. Um, but basically, it's typically used for doubt and uncertainty, um, but also for things like emotions. So in this case, me da rabia. It infuriates me. I will cook her prawn so that she knows that I love her. Okay. Le cocinaré langostinos para que sepa que la amo. Le cocinaré langostinos para que sepa que la amo. Nice. Alrighty. Cool. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but so far we're doing pretty good. Okay, now I'll do something relaxing. You. Okay, so he's saying you should rest too. I hope you rest too. Okay, so ahora real algo relajante que descanses tú también. Now do something relaxing. I hope you rest too. Yep. You can also say, I hope that you rest too. Okay, hasta ahora no hemos ganado ningún partido. That's pretty sad. Rip. Okay, hasta ahora. So, so far, that could also translate to up until now. Alright. Okay, how's your thesis going? ¿Qué tal tu tesis? How's your thesis going? All right, nice. Yeah, so que tal can mean, you know, how's it going? Um, que tal tu dia? You know, how's your day going? Um, que tal? Also, how's it going? What's up? <clears throat> See you. Say hi to grandpa. Okay. Nos vemos. Saludos al abuelo. Okay, say hi to grandpa. Saludos al abuelo. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> Every time that I hit check, I get a little nervous. Estamos coordinando las entrevistas con el consejero. He said, we are coordinating the interviews with the advisor. Estamos coordinando las entrevistas con el consejero. The interviews with the advisor. That looks good. All right. Nice. Genial. I always travel in tourist class. I'm not a millionaire. Siempre viajo en... Clase turista, no soy millonaria. Clase turista, no soy millonaria. Nice, ok. No deberías haber sentido dolor cuando te vacunaron. Ok, now it's getting, this is getting harder. Ok, so. No. No deberías haber sentido dolor cuando te vacunaron. Deberías haber sentido dolor cuando te vacunaron. Oh, sorry, I'm going to see that. No deberías haber sentido dolor cuando te vacunaron. No deberías haber sentido dolor cuando te vacunaron. Ok, nice. Ok, cool. All right, I gotta go slow on these typing ones. Yes, video conferences work better in groups. T. Sí. Las videoconferencias. Funciona mejor en grupitos. Sí, las videoconferencias funcionan mejor en grupitos. Nice. ¿Te sientes bien o estás de caída? ¿Te sientes bien o estás de caída? ¿Te sientes bien o estás de caída? De caída. ¿Te sientes bien o estás de caída? What are these little guys? ¿Te sientes bien o estás de caída? Okay, do you feel okay? How are you weak? Okay. ¿Podría ir con ustedes al bautismo de su sobrino? The question, podría ir al... Podría ir con ustedes al oh. bautismo de su sobrino. Con ustedes, podría ir con ustedes al... Podría ir con ustedes al bautismo de su sobrino. De su sobrino. Okay. <laughs> I really gotta make sure I'm not writing this down. Okay. Podría ir con ustedes al bautismo de su sobrino. All right, looks good. Nice, okay. Woo, all right. <laughs> so that little word, podría, that's what we call the conditional tense in Spanish. That typically means could, um, so, or would. You know, yo haría, blah, blah, blah. I would do, yo podría, I could, or could I, for asking a question. All right. Odio el tono 
amarillo de las cortinas del dormitorio. Odio el tono amarillo. Odio el tono amarillo de las cortinas del dormitorio. De las cortinas del dormitorio. Odio el tono amarillo de las cortinas del dormitorio. ¿Qué debo hacer? Odio el tono amarillo de las cortinas del dormitorio. All right. Uh, okay. <risa> si vive en Barcelona, ya sé de qué equipo es fan. Ok, si vi, that's funny. Si vive... Si vive en Barcelona, ya sé de qué equipo es fan. <laughs> That is funny, he sounds like he's whining. Ya sé de qué equipo es fan. Si vive en Barcelona, ya sé de qué equipo es fan. Ya sé de qué equipo es fan. Si vive en Barcelona, ya sé de qué equipo es fan. Si vive en Barcelona, ya sé de qué equipo a ver, <laughs> ok, oops, I, I forgot the accent on que, a ver, still, still correct, uh, ok, ya sé de que equipo es fan, ok, yeah, cool, so the reason that there's that accent on que is because in Spanish we have que with an accent and que without an accent, so que with an accent means what, and then without it, it can mean that, than, who, ok, alright, so cool. Tus hijos odian los legumbres. Tus hijos odian las legumbres tanto como los míos. Ups, las legumbres. Tus hijos odian las legumbres tanto como los míos. Tanto como los míos. Que eso, tus hijos odian las legumbres tanto como los míos. Tus hijos odian las legumbres tanto como los míos. Ok. All right. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Hablé con varios maestros, pero ninguno entendió mi duda. Okay, so. Hablé con varios maestros. Hablé con varios maestros, pero ninguno entendió mi duda. Pero ninguno entendió mi duda. Hablé con varios maestros, pero ninguno entendió mi duda. All right, I spoke so soon, but now I'm still a question. Okay, Ooh. oh man. Se podrían haber llevado bien, pero él es muy susceptible. Okay, Ooh, this one's hard. Se podrían haber llevado bien, pero él es muy susceptible. Pero él... Es muy... Susceptible. Se podrían haber llevado bien, pero él es muy susceptible. Okay, let's go slow on this one. It's like the last one. I really don't want to get it wrong. Okay. Se podrían haber llevado bien, pero él es muy susceptible. Okay. <laughs> nice, I think that's it. Uh, oh, okay, also, on the little word el, um, the reason there's an accent over that is because that means he. If we have el with an accent, it means he, and then without, it'll mean the. Now, how do you tell the difference when you're speaking Spanish with someone? Off of context clues. So, el and el, they sound exactly the same. However, you'll be able to tell the difference based off of context clues. All right. Oh, man. Whew, perfect. All right, let's let's grade our lesson. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> okay, it's loading. It's taking forever. Imagine it doesn't load. Oh no. <laughs> ah, okay, it's still loading. And I and I don't really want to cut here because I don't want it to seem like I cheated. Um, I kind of just want this whole video to just kind of be a straight shot so you guys can see that it's legit. Um, but yeah, it's taking there. Okay, here we go, here we go. Do, do, do. Ta-da! All right, 100% perfect. Nice. 
All right, guys, so there you have it. I know that I couldn't do a whole lot of teaching in this video, just because, frankly, it kind of took a while, uh, and a lot of the questions were, were pretty uh, complex, and it'd be kind of hard to explain all of those different concepts we were seeing in just one video. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment letting me know what you thought. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big like, and also subscribe if you haven't already. Muchas gracias por ver y te...